Hi there, Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to continue our look at painting the Primaris Marine in an Ultramarine color scheme from the new Dark Imperium box set. And as you can see here, we have the armor complete and the trim and bolt gun already done. And so in this video, we are going to work on the lenses. But we're going to do something a little bit different here. We're going to do a bit of an OSL glowing effect on the lens. We're going to do the lenses in red, but to get us started, we're going to start off with some Mephiston Red. I'm going to slap a little bit onto our palette. We're going to use a fairly heavy amount of Lemayan medium. Basically, it's two drops of medium, and then I mix it slowly into the uh, little dollop of paint, uh, just drawing exactly what I need from the little dollop to get to the right consistency that I like for glazing. And then I simply begin uh, using my detail brush and uh, applying very thin little layers underneath the lenses and also into the eye socket as well. Uh, really, I'm not looking to build up too much color on the eye sockets. We're really just looking to create a slight transition of color under the eyes. And really, we're only going about as far down uh, the mask as about the thickness of the brush. So whatever that is in millimeters kind of thing. It's, just, it's a rough kind of guesstimation. I mean, if you go down too far onto the um, face mask, uh, the glow just looks a little too intense and too kind of overpowering. Really, you're looking for more subtlety in this regard. Otherwise, the lens is just look kind of weird and as you can see here I took some base color and filled in the lens as well next is wild rider red this is gonna be our next color we're gonna use and basically we're just gonna fill in the lens itself allowing uh, more of that Mephiston red to remain on the outside but also we're gonna catch just a bit of the ledge of the face mask the uh, underneath the eye as well uh, so that we have this little hint of uh, a dark line uh, separating the lens and that face mask portion uh, just so that it can, we get that in kind of that feeling of uh, the intensity of the glow from the lens itself it would catch that little ledge that's underneath the eyelid kind of space uh, on the face mask itself we're not really going too far with this color and really it's just a, a matter of just putting that little line in place now of course it does require you to go into steady hand mode when trying to lay that little line out um, again the more practice you have at doing this on more marines uh, the better you will get at it of course and as you can see here i went back and forth just a little bit just to re-establish that fist in red and then just to push the color back just a bit and i was just looking for a little more of a color blend again as you kind of build the layers up and such as long as you keep that red nice and thin Fire Dragon Bright is next. This is going to be our next little color. And of course, this is going to go pretty much uh, more centralized into the eye. Not so much like uh, kind of we do when we're doing like the gem effect on the eye or going for that translucency. Really, we're going for the central portion more like in the lens itself because that's, you know, kind of how we're imagining the light emanating from the lenses themselves. It's kind of like the whole lens is kind of glowing. And so... It's not too far, it's really more like a dot within that eye, not following the entire curvature of that lens. Next is Uriel Yellow. And again, this is going to be just the tiniest of dots in that central point. We're just going for just that. You can barely see it there. It's just a very tiny, tiny little dot we're going for in there. We're not looking to create a whole lot because, again, that yellow is such a strong color. And sitting within that red, you're going to just see a little too much orange at play uh, to the eye. And so we're not really looking for that. We're just looking for that little glint of light in that lens. And so that's why we're just going to put just the tiniest of dots in there again because we don't really want that lens to lose that redness. We really want it to remain main more red again because the lenses we want to remain red but we want to have that glow appearance and so again we have to use something bright like yellow we could also go with whites as well but you end up going into that more pink like spectrum and so some people don't really care for that one so we'll stay with the yellows of course here i just take a little bit more of the mephiston red break it down just uh, again to glaze consistency uh create a little bit of separation and i'm just kind of neatening up the uh the shadow points underneath the eyes or i should say not the shadow points but the highlights really uh where the essential glow is occurring onto the cheeks. And again, you can see we're really not going that far on them and we get the impression of a glow uh, from those eyes. But if we went too far, then it would kind of look like this kind of like, I don't know, like like uh, the Gene Simmons kind of kiss kind of makeup kind of thing. And just, it wouldn't look right. It looked more like war paint on the face than, than anything. And then of course here, I'm just coming back in with some Wild Rider Red again, just to reestablish the highlight on that ledge of the eye. Again, so it kind of creates that, we leave that little dark bit amount of color in between the lens and that little ledge on the eye. Again, that helps create the effect that that light is playing at on that mask's surface. And that is it. That's essentially just creating a glow effect in your lens. And that works for any model, Eldar, Space Marine, what have you. We've got even more painting tutorials in the Silver Mini Wargaming Vault. You can watch another one today about how I apply transfers onto this model. 
You can click on the link below and subscribe for a free seven day trial and make sure that you sign up for the silver membership and you'll get instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in the vault. And so thank you for watching and happy wargaming.